On our kelp exploration, we saw a complete auto recovery in the wilds of eastern Russia, oil spill impact in Alaska, decreased otter health in Monterey due to pollution, compromise of kelp forests in Santa Barbara due to a major oil spill, a complete collapse of the ecosystem in Santa Monica Bay due to sewage from 3.8 million people next door in Los Angeles and environmental law enforcement in San Diego resulting in two major industries moving offshore. This makes a grand story of environmental action. While traveling in India years ago, I realized that I used as much of the energy's resources as the whole village you see here. I feel the hypocrisy of being an advocate for sustainability while living at a high standard compared to most of the world's population. I am saddened by what I've seen in my life, the changes to the California of my youth. As a kid, it was orange groves for miles, abalone to pick at low tide, and a chance to find a place of quiet. A professional futurist opined just last week that if we continue our present population growth and environmental actions, by 2100, it would make two and a half planets Earth resources to support species Homo sapiens. Your decisions in your lifetime regarding the environment will be the most important you make. Planet Earth will survive us. So what can you do to help our species survive in a sustainable way?